We are now level 80, so we can go ahead and try and Digistruct Peak. We'll start off just trying with the gear that we currently have. Let's see how we go. And if it turns out we're struggling too much, we can always farm for some better stuff. But to begin with, we can just see, we can just see how we go. Let's just have a look what we're currently holding, if we have anything to sell off. We'll keep what we have. And we'll head over to Digistruct Peak, see how we go. Try these two shops as well. Sticky Lobbed Bouncing Betty. And a couple class mods there, green ones. Hello Squiggy. It's happening, yeah, we got we made it to level 80. We finally made it. Welcome to the gauntlet. Please follow So back to this familiar place again. Mo Dub, lobbed slag singularity point six second fuse time. Gun shop, non elemental pushka there, blue one. So we can start off with the toothpick. Wonder what we have as far as uh, corrosive weapons go. We've got the shredder fire. We have this green venom as well. We just start off with what we have, I think. Uh, yeah, that looks fine. So to begin with, we're going to be having, we might come across some rabid enemies. Well, we should probably fill up on ammo first. That's something we should do. Well, good luck on the run. Thank you, Squiggy. See how it goes. See how it goes with Maya. This will be interesting. See what it's like encountering these familiar enemies again with a different character. Opening the doors here for the first time. Oh, that's it. That's all you have to do. That was the entire mission, just unlocking the door. Exceptional. Now, Lord of Power Siren Skin. Using a mixture of Iridium, Digistruct technology, and Scooter's salami stained fingers, try not to read into that. Together, the combat trials you see before you. If you succeed, and the music, yeah, Pandora, that's right, familiar music. Of overpowered enemies, better loot, and an abundance yeah, of that's the thing it's you can do year. at level anyway, one by fast traveling from Clappy's Heart, get you to level three or so instantly. Should oh, yeah, like a zero, zero risk mission to level up fast. I will this, of okay, that's a that's a good little trick to level up fast. Enough. 
certainly makes those skags easier to deal with, having the phase lock. Almost feel nostalgia for this music, to be honest. It's been so long since so long since I've been here. Getting nostalgic about the music. Oh, and a rabbit skag. Certainly makes the rabbit gags a little bit easier to deal with. Stay Check both of the skags, make sure there's no rabbit rabid ones here. There's some duty strapping right on top of me. A couple of spitter skags. Switch to the grog nozzle, got the wrong weapon. Horn stand. Stay still. I know, right? I usually get goosebumps for hearing it after getting there. Yeah, I spent so much time here last time. Certainly does give you a this sense of nostalgia to come back and hear that music again. I love my powers. Like a classic gaming experience. Running the peak, hearing that music. Okay, that's the first part done. Goosebumps or nightmares, yeah. That's right, depending on how you're going. Mostly goosebumps. Toothpick has been made a little bit too, too long. Some more skags. Whenever I see a pack of skags, I always always check them all for the see if there's any rabbit skags there. So it looks like no loaders in this section for the first OP0 run. I was half expecting loaders at this point, but I guess I guess on the first run you don't get loaders here. I know most people's issues with peak is that they can't really progress as they've done until then, actually having to care about single enemies using cover to survive. And if you fail the fight for your life, you just get fucked. Yeah. Yeah, you sort of have to be more deliberate with each, uh, with each section. Can't just sort of stroll through it. That's true.
but on the other hand, it's there to refine your build, see how far you can and want to make it. And it's nice to have just some sort of an ultimate challenge to the game rather than have something, have, the, have it too easy, have something really challenging right at the end. Your current gear should get you through to at least OP3, maybe 4, then you can farm for higher stuff. Yeah, I think that's probably, that's probably the plan, just to See how far I can get with what I have. And then uh, once things start to get a bit tough, then farm for some better stuff. I have to remember where all the ammo boxes are now. Get these ammo boxes here before I continue. Oh, we got the marauders. Kind of creeping forward. Please stop. Oh, there's one right, right on top of me here. Green stockpile relic dropped there. Those marauders were quite happy to stay back. Oh, they've got these guys. Hold it. They can slag these guys too. Shut up. Got to get the timing on these bursts. I can shoot faster than I am going. Dropped a little bit of stuff here. Jacob's rifle. Hyperion slag thinking. What violence was informative and entertaining. Now keep moving. I don't I don't think the first time I went through here at the early OP levels I was using I was using that uh, rock for cover, this rock here. And I think those enemies were uh, were a bit of a more of a handful for me. But I think later on, dealing with the Scorchers kind of taught me to use that rock for cover. Which is certainly handy early on, in the earlier levels, when you're fighting the, the easier the easier enemies there. Because you had no experience with the terrain. Yeah, exactly. That's right. So I guess that's one thing about having some experience with the peak at least, as you to start to learn job. what you can use for cover and uh, what the enemies are vulnerable to. Don't actually remember what you face early on here. We'll see what see what comes. So what do we have here? Oh, now we've got some loaders. Spider tank. 
thing. Something behind. Where is this other tank? Tanks do do quite a bit of damage there. Here's a rabid skag. Stay still. So you do get the spider tanks and the skags at the same time at some point, which can be a pain if you've got a, a rabid skags and the spider tanks. So I guess the rabid skags probably would have a hard time if I get on that rock. Probably should do that. by the look of it. So the nomad got slagged as well. This game lets you revise and replay the same area three times in a row and then you're against a completely new setting of enemies and small maps that you've never seen. Very intimidating at first. Yeah, that's right, and, and no, no room for a failure. You've got to start from the beginning. So that does make it even more intimidating. If you die, you have to do it all from the start. These are the launcher guys. Always scary when you come across an enemy with a launcher. Oh, there we go. Now we are out of assault rifle ammo. We can throw on the Nirvana instead. You got the blaster nomads and then you got the heavy goliaths with the launchers. Now phase lock, rabid or proc CR on the turret base, connection of tanks and you're good. Oh, okay, yeah, you get the uh, you get the uh, the boar thing happening with the with the spider tanks. Oh yeah, you got this run in the bag. Hellfire carry. Yeah, we got the uh, we got the flame SMG, the Nirvana. I guess it's a reskinned Hellfire, isn't it? Now I have to remember where all the ammo boxes are. So far, the uh, rabid skags are easier to deal with with the 
quite easy lock. Unfortunately, they didn't do anything except for the shiny skin. Okay, so it's exactly like a hellfire, just with a different skin on it. Oh, there is some more ammo boxes here. Phase log four eventually got all the way back. Very nice having that phase log four just pick out the marauders from cover like that. Because it can be a little bit annoying trying to get the get the marauders out from behind cover. Where are the other ones? Back here probably. Couple more enemies coming through this way. Hold it right there. Stop kind of think maybe a sniper would be better here actually. Do I have a flame sniper? It's level 76 pitchfork. Mm, it's probably going to eat through a lot of ammo. these marauders are happy to stay back. Grenade out. Stop. Oh, got a spider tank here. Try to face like this marauder. Done. I wasn't expecting that spider tank. I thought we were done a little bit earlier. Unfortunately, they didn't do it. Oh, yeah. Neutral. Oh, that's right. Neutral damage. That's right. 
So you don't get it, yeah, it doesn't matter, does it? Neutral damage. So I can just use the flame weapons then. Dull, corrosive minigun. Yeah, I forgot about that neutral damage aspect. So this is a good good area to load up on some ammo. There's a ton of ammo boxes in this area. Guess if it is neutral damage. Might be better once I get my assault rifle ammo back up again. Might be worth using the uh, using the relic with the with the toothpick. Get that bigger bonus because I was using the toothpick a lot there. Put the toothpick back on on the mouthwash. See how we go there. Something constructing at the top. Spitter skag and two rabid skags. didn't last too long. One other enemy around here. Enough. Bunch more marauders. And there's some skags here too. Horned, two horned skags. Badass Marauder. This will work. Another one down. Free. We did get two uh, rabid skags in a row in a grouping there. It's a little bit of a headache. Huh. 
Now I'll try to get all of these ammo boxes. I think I've got most of the ammo boxes there. Still need to be quick to uh, take the rabbit skags down before the phase lock wears off though. Don't have too much time to relax. So these guys are going to come all the way through, yes. Where's the other one? Up the top there. If the enemies are taking cover, you can be really conservative and just wait for the phase lock to cool off before you do any sort of moves. do go through a lot of ammo. A lot of ammo with this gun, but it does a lot of damage as well. Also have the Pitchfork Sniper, which is kind of similar. Kind of similar to the Toothpick here. Burst fire with multiple horizontal bullets there. a white flat off launcher. So I guess we'll try the toothpick here. What else do we have for shields? Not much really. We'll keep this turtle shield that we have. This sniper probably not that useful. Maybe we'll use this Hector's Paradise. Scrub off the shields, maybe. Do you live near any cicadas or something, by the way? Yeah, they. I do. Yeah, they are actually some some crickets or something chirping outside the window. That's true. Yeah. The most difficult task for last. Calm down. We get scares initially here. These bandits are the insane remnants of Doll's original slave labor on Pandora. Come on, come so am I. Two bursts for that nomad. Last and over. Certainly, dealing with the assassins is easier once you have the phase lock.
Just wait for my uh, phase lock to cool off. Gotcha. That was awesome. That is lovely. Surrender, bandit. Are we near here? Well, this assassin arena area is easier. GG. So the phase, the phase lock makes that assassin arena area easier. You can phase lock the the assassins. Okay, so I'm starting to get a get a feel for the enemies again. Get a feel for how the, the peak works again. Almost dead. Ah. Once we'll get some more ammo before the next run. Everything else is okay. We have 56 iridium. I think we need at least 100 to get any more ammo capacity upgrades. So I was a little bit concerned when we got to the uh, assassin arena area, but certainly it's much more manageable with the phase lock. So we've got another new skin here, Blight of the Valkyries. Please assemble here and we can begin. Probably the most troublesome bits were probably the spider tanks. I'll make sure to save put between runs. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. So just in case the game crashes or something. You don't lose your progress. Oh yeah, we've got to do this as well, don't we? I forgot about this. We have to increase this. Yeah, I forgot about that. I would have just done, this, done the level again, or at least started to, before I realized I was redoing the same level. Do you have Sheriff's Badge? I no, I don't. No, I haven't done that uh, sheriff's badge mission. I thought I'd wait until I get to level eighty before I did it. So I don't have the sheriff's badge yet. You can use zeros one. Oh yes, I could. Yeah, because I got the I got zeros one pretty late. That's true. I did get zeros pretty late, so I can use zeros one. Cheating. I mean, wouldn't wouldn't be that difficult to um, go and get it. I still have the the mission available. Haven't done that mission. So I'm trying to think whether I accepted the mission though, because I think I think the level that of the item that you get as a mission reward is based on the level that you accept the mission. So I'm not sure if I actually accepted it or not. I might not have. Might not have. I'll have to start the mission. Do you have a progress update? Oh no. We are ready. Yeah, but for the badge, max fire rate is always 56% no matter the level. 
So even a level 31 from normal will do. Right. Yeah, I haven't picked up the Sheriff's Badge from any of the, uh, the previous levels. The bonus damage increases a bit, but it's additive, so, eh. Right. Yeah, so I think I have all of my Sheriff's Badges available. I haven't collected uh, any of them with this character so far. So there is a bit of stuff that I can collect at this point at level 80. I think there might even be... Um, there might even be the Pimpernel left to collect and the Sandhawk. Okay, now we've got the spider ants coming in. Pattern spider ant lives for as long as it takes to meet a vault hunter. Free. Oh yeah, these guys shoot a lot. I forgot about these guys. I do like to shoot these guys. Now we're starting to get loaders. And surveyors too. Those guys reflect bullets. No. I forgot that those guys reflect bullets. I think that's how I went down there. Those bullets were getting reflected back at me. I think I actually got the ammo out of these boxes last time. Starting to get loaders, so I do have to be careful of those uh, armored spider ants that can reflect bullets. I guess once they're face locked, the best idea is probably just to circle around behind. I assume their critical point won't reflect the bullets. At the moment, I'm quite happy just to use this uh, toothpick along with the relic. Just 
just use a toothpick along with the mouthwash. Now, do we get loaders yet? Yeah, now we're starting to get loaders coming in. Along with the spider ants. So the phase lock ball can't go through that shield either. That's funny. Didn't notice that before, that the phase lock ball gets blocked by that uh, eye on motor's shield. I forgot these ammo boxes here too. Yeah, Loader Bubble is the true end boss of this game. Yeah, especially troublesome when you get other enemies crowding inside the, um, the shield as well. That does make it a hassle. I should probably figure out a secondary weapon that I can use on lesser enemies so I don't waste all of my tooth assault rifle ammo. Like, uh, I guess throw the Nirvana on. Just so I can at least use uh, the Nirvana on lesser enemies. Then you throw a Singularity to, to, to disrupt their stance. Oh, I see. So that will uh, disrupt the bubble. That's a nice little trick. It's a nice technique for dealing with that shield. The only, the only thing I've done is just wait for it to wear off. Haven't actually tried a singularity. Stay still. Something right behind me. So I think that's what I'll do. I'll use this uh, Nirvana on the lesser enemies, save the toothpick ammo for the bigger enemies. We still have some more enemies still spawned above. Where's the backside of this enemy? Oh yeah. These bullets are definitely getting reflected back at me. Definitely not a, a good idea to stand too close to those spider ants that reflect the bullets back and just try to blast them. Of 
Empress, Fighter Ant, and Surveyors. Probably should have gone for the Surveyors first. Now try to stay alive long enough to deal with these surveyors. And the phase lock is out. Makes you realise just how troublesome those surveyors are without it. So nice to have that phase lock ready to go when you've got, a, got surveyors. Let's pick up this ammo before I forget. So before we continue, I might just uh, take a quick break. I'll be right back. <laughs> 